We need to talk about random variables to know more about statistics. A random variable is a numerical variable that describes the outcomes of a chance process. When we talk about this, we'll understand that random variables are really all about probability. So a random variable can really take any number that describes some outcomes of some process. So as an example, think about tossing a coin three times. So we could have X be the number of heads that we obtain after we toss those three coins. So what are the possibilities? Well, X could be zero. Uh, you could get all tails. X could be one, one head relative to the three tosses. X could be two, two heads relative to the three tosses. Or X could be three. And you get my favorite professional wrestler, Triple H, we're all heads. Uh, and so what does that look like? Here we have the probabilities. What's the probability of obtaining zero? Well, that's one out of eight. We can only get tails, tails, tails one time out of eight times that we are, that are all of the possibilities for that. X could be one or two almost half the time, or three eighths. And then X could be three, all heads, just one time. And so this is our random variable. Uh, the random variable we could depict as this way. What's the probability that we're seeing here on the y-axis for each of the different values of x, what we see on the x-axis? And so when we look at variables, they could be either discrete or continuous. Discrete random variables count the number of occurrences, and they have numbers associated with them. This is an example like the coin flipping example. We can count the number of heads that we encounter. One probability is associated with each individual value. The probability of getting three heads is one over eight. So an example of this is the binomial. Uh, there's only one or another outcome, uh, two different outcomes for, for possibilities. We also have continuous random variables. Here there are an uncountable number of values. The values are continuous uh, throughout some space. We can think about the probability of as beneath a curve. And for those of you that have taken some calculus before, uh, you're dealing a lot with areas underneath curves when you're thinking about um, uh, how distributions can be characterized. And so an example here is the normal distribution, which we'll talk a lot about in this class. As an example, we'll start with uh, a golden winged warbler. Now this is a bird species that's found in the northern United States, but it's also a very significant concern because this population has been declining in a number of recent years. So we've got a small data set here uh, where we're gonna look at the probability and we're gonna calculate the mean and the variance for this discrete random variable. Now what's the data? We went out a couple of times. We've got some long-term data historically, um, and what we've got is uh, a probability distribution function. And so we go out, the probability that we see zero birds is 0.6. Uh, so that's actually quite likely. It is most likely that we'll go out and we won't find any golden-winged warblers. The probability that we find one warbler is 0 0.1, and the probability that we find four warblers is 0 0.3. Now, as it turns out, with this small data set, there's a possibility that we could find two or three warblers, but it's just not a part of this random variable and not a part of this probability. And so we're going to work through a calculation where we calculate the mean and the variance for this discrete random variable. 